Hello everyone, happy Sunday to you all. This is Elisha Maide here again. I just want to bring you a word that we help grow your walk in God. Help, you know, enrich your soul. Let us talk about fruits. Fruits, the fruits of the Spirit. God bless you. As you got us into trouble. Fruits got man into trouble in the garden. The garden of Eden. In that very very beginning that foundation then fruits again is going to get man back into the garden and when I'm talking about the garden that is a kingdom you know? he has given us a kingdom so when he handed that garden you know over to Adam and Eve he actually gave them a kingdom and in that garden he placed everything in it everything good to the eyes food water animals everything they would need to be comfortable that they wouldn't need to stress they wouldn't need to struggle everything god provided for them but something went went wrong and we all know and it's all about fruits so let me remind us again about that fruit and how we should begin to cultivate that fruit again in our lives so that we can have a place once more in that kingdom that is what this whole thing is all about this relationship that we all are, you know into with Christ so in that so, beginning in the book of Genesis 2 I will read from verse verse 7 but I will you know advise everyone to go back to that Genesis 2 again let us go back and read that book properly then we can marry it to the book of Galatians and all that God expects from us in this set time in the body of Christ so the book of Genesis chapter 2 I am reading from verse 7 it says and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breath into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul and the Lord God planted the garden eastward in Eden and there he put the man whom he had formed and out of the ground made the and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good the tree of life also in the middle of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil and the river went out of Eden to water the garden everything that they needed God put it there to water the garden you know, for them they wouldn't have to go somewhere and be fetching water God already put a river in there and from thence it was parted and became into four heads 15 and the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. At least if somebody gives you a house, a home, as a gift, put all the furnishings you need, everything to make you comfortable. Is it the one that will come and dress it and clean it for you? You are the one that will do that. So God has already given us all of the things we needed in that foundation. When he created man, he made sure that everything man will need to thrive. Everything man will need you know to flourish he put it right there in the garden but you know gave a commandment you know everything about god is his pattern and commandment and we really need to begin to understand that it does not shift god changes not you know is the ancient of day the god that that is old but he never changes <laughs> he only changes us he does not change i've come to realize in my various work in god that no matter how we try to dribble him here and there and there and there, everything he says stands forever. Except it's not him that speaks it. Except it's not the word that he has pronounced. Everything that comes from the Spirit of God, nothing changes it, nothing moves it. No matter the manipulations, the schemes of the enemy, he, that word will stand and that word, that word will speak in the name of Jesus. And I pray that every word that God has spoken over your life will stand and it will begin to manifest in these seasons in jesus name amen so and verse 18 of chapter 2 the book of genesis let me take it from verse 16 and the lord god commanded the man saying of every tree of the garden thou might freely eat and of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, eat of it. for in the day that thou shalt eat it thereof thou shalt surely die God gave a commandment about the tree, about the fruits, the fruit that man should eat. And I, I strongly believe, and we, we all know that by now, that fruit is 
what is supposed to nourish the position of man with God. Make the man flourish. Make the man grow, you know, in nutrients, in strength, in status, you know. Make the man prosper. Make the man joyful. Make the man fulfilled and make the man be able to fulfill purpose everything that man needed once man begins to eat that food because whatever we eat is what will manifest in our lives physically or spiritually so that was the purpose of that food then if you marry this to the fruits of the spirit because it was after man disobeyed that commandment and went to eat from the tree of good and evil that was when death occurred that spiritual relationship was broken it broke down a man was not able to assess God one-on-one -on -one. that fellowship that image that God actually created because the original plan of God was to make man in his image and in his likeness likeness meaning will be like God will be everything about God what's a great honor what's a great privilege for God to even think of us like that was in such a height and when man fell that plan of God did not change, even though the enemy came in to corrupt it. The, the, you know, Satan entered the snake, you know, came in a subtle way and deceived man. You know, God plans, God words, God intention, God's purpose was not defeated. God now, because of the love that He has for us, that He has for you and me, came down in the flesh through Christ to come and restore. Because that was a kingdom. That was a kingdom in the book of Psalm 24. The Bible says, The head is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he had founded it upon the seas and established it, you know. So God handed a kingdom to man, you know, and the enemy temporarily messed with that kingdom. But God was determined and he came in the flesh through Christ to retrieve that kingdom back and retrieve that kingdom back and handed it over to man again because it was his intention and he's still very resolute about it but one thing we have to keep reminding ourselves as believers is that it is a kingdom it's a fellowship it's a relationship to be like god that god created us for but the enemy has diverted it into the mundane things like oh the only way you can know that Christ dwells in me, the only way you can know that I'm a child of God, the only way you can know that I'm blessed of God is if you see me with physical things. Everybody wants physical things. Believe in it, it's physical heads. So we need physical things to survive. We need the good cars, we need good homes, we need good foods, we need cash. We need it, but that those are mundane things. Then the scripture also tells us that, uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and it's righteousness the righteousness are those fruits and the righteousness and every other thing so those things will be added those things are automatic buy one get one free Nick. you don't need to really pursue those things as against us pursuing the things of the spirit so more importantly or most importantly is that God wants those fruits to be battered in us because that those fruits are the life of Christ in us Christ in us the hope of glory those fruits are not fully rooted in your life anything you acquire outside of those fruits are just temporary the enemy will come to lay claims on them later and they will be rusted. that's just the finality of the story whether we want to believe it or not anything we acquire outside of the fruits of the spirit are only temporary they will become worms they will be eaten up but anything we get when those fruits are fully established and rooted in our life nothing nothing can take it away from us that's why it says in the book of galatians 5 22 to verse verse 23 it says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace forbearance kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control against such things there is no law this is in the book of Galatians. Anybody that operates in the fruit of the Spirit, that allows the fruit of the Spirit to grow richly in them, there is no law. That law that started in the garden will not hold you. The enemy will not be able to come against the kingdom that God has handed over to you. Anything that follows you when these fruits are grounded, not 
happen can lay claim to it because everything will be of the Holy Ghost the Holy Spirit and you know we need it we uh, you know we really need to come to a place in Christ where we have to become conscious of who we are conscious of our spiritual inheritance our spiritual heritage this whole thing is about allowing Christ Christ to be formed in us for us to be like Christ again to be like God so that we can begin to fellowship with him and you know if we don't allow these fruits to grow in us there's no way we can inherit that